besties, it's me, Guy Tang, and I'm here with my model. Hello. Paige, it is Paige. This is not a makeover, we're just enhancing what she already has because she's already beautiful. <laughs> Duh, right? <laughs> so you take a look, she's a natural level 8. Take a look at this, which is fun to play with, right? But she does need some more highlights around the face and some low lights coming down. But when she turns around, I want to show you guys this, okay? She has a situation that when you open up, the insides is all dark, which is nothing wrong with that. She's been mainly getting what we call like partial highlights, and that's fine. But I would like to create an ombre underneath, almost almost like an internal ombre. So bring the lightness up, still leaving the shadow. So that way it'll look longer down here. Because when you lift the top up, it almost looks like a disconnected type of, uh, you know, like a moody color, which there's nothing wrong with that but let's just update her a little bit so that way it can draw light to the length and the hair can look longer so let's get started yes let's, let's do, do it, it. Mm -hmm. all right so here are the different flavors in the hypnotic line by scruples there's the 5na which is dark desires the darkest brown and then there's cool minx which is 7na there's 8na and then there's 9NA. So these are the lightest, which is considered the blonder shades. So they're all ash on top, all gold in the bottom. So we have a 9NG, 8NG, 7NG, and 4NG. So these are the gold series. This will actually be considered the darkest, but it's also gold because it's level 4. It's still going to look probably about the same level on level because this one is ash. And then there's the red series. Hot Rush, which is 7C. Passion, which is 6RR. Actually, I like the names to this. This one's called Nightfall. This one's called Mystic Shadow. This one's called Honey Lust. This one's called Whisper. This one's called Cashmere. Halo, Cool Minx, and Dark Desire. I personally love the Halo and Cashmere for blondes because most of our blondes, when they want to go dark, they want to have a cool, nice, ashy tone here. So I tend to use these and then the 9NG um, the most. And these are great when you're doing a fashion low light on blondes. When you want like a little, a little warm tones for, you know, during the autumn times, the, the fall season. So this is great. So this will fill the hair um, all at once. So you get to take your blonde, go darker, and not worry that you have to fill like is I like to put all the product in this unique little bowl because there's two sides in it. So I'm going to start with my Illusionist 9AV Bombshell and I'm going to mix it with... Okay, so we got one, two, three scoops and this is for the top of her head and then I'm going to use the 20 volume. All right, I need two ounces. So I'm going to pour two ounces of uh, the 20 volume developer for the bombshell. So that's the 20 volume. Okay. And then we're gonna mix the 9AV bombshell. What I like to do is get the key in there and squeeze out half the tube to about there because it'll tell you on the side of the tube that it's one application. So if you look closely on the side of the tube, it'll say one application. So I'll stop right there where it says one application okay so i'm gonna pour the 20 volume in and i'm gonna mix that later so then here we're gonna go with a 9na cashmere so i already used this tube already so i'm gonna pour the rest of it out so this will be a two ounce application so i'm gonna mix it equal parts So here I'm going to squeeze out this side. I like these bowls because they're very convenient. So see, I'm going to do that. And then you can mix a demi developer or you can mix a 10 volume developer. I like to use the 10 volume because I like the res results to be more sheer. If you use a demi, it's going to go slightly darker. <laughs> so that was just one ounce of the 10 volume. So I'm going to put that in. So now I got the low light and now I got the highlight. So as you can see. So we're ready to go. I'm just going to stir it up. All right. Okay, I'm going to turn it here. So as you can see, when I start stirring the color and the powder and the developer together, you can see how the color starting to develop. You can see that's what's going to tone the hair. So don't let that scare you. It will actually soften as it oxidizes. 
There you go. And I won't start mixing this until I start low lighting her hair. So I'm gonna let that sit until I low light her hair. All right, so there we go. We're here, we're ready to get started. All right guys, so underneath, knowing the fact that Paige is considered a level seven, eight, I would say it is more of an eight, but some people may say it's a seven depending on which country you're from, the level system is different. So I'm just gonna say go darker. So she's gonna be a level seven. So this is what I do on the chart. This chart is a must have with the illusionist line. So she's a level seven. So I choose the level seven here and I kind of intersect and go all the way across. My formula is bombshell because we want her to look like a bombshell. So it's 9AB and it gives you two options, whether she has natural hair or color treated hair. So typically I would go into the natural and it says three scoops. So I'm gonna apply three scoops of the accelerator powder with two ounce of 20 volume and then half the tube of the 9AV. Because underneath, when we're doing away from the scalp, I feel like we always gotta do the stronger formula. So underneath, I'm gonna ombre her, do the stronger formula under here. And we are just doing the classic backcombing technique. So I'm just taking her section here and just simply backcomb her hair all the way up. And then we're gonna highlight under here. And that's what I've been doing down here. And then on the top, we'll do baby lights to face frame her and then we'll do uh, some low lights up there as well. All right, so this is the first formula, the one with the four scoops, which is a stronger formula for a level seven. This is also with the nine AB. And apply this throughout, saturate the hair very carefully because you don't want to miss any spots. For me, sometimes I even go up to the back comb area a little bit because I like to create like almost like a sparkle up here and then blur it into the actual ombre. But your back comb has to be nice and tight and tugged. You apply it throughout. Usually one mixture is good for half a head application. But I don't mix the whole tube first because for me it's very important to remix as you go versus over mix because you want the product to stay strong when it's first mixed together. Just like so. The reason why a back comb is because when I create this back comb right here, we create like this nice little cushion up here so it diffuses the line. So when I put the product down here and then I uncomb this, you get to see how soft the, the highlights is. You don't get to see any stripes, any lines. And I know a lot of people out there who are already advanced and you know, people don't like to do this technique anymore. Everyone's all about balayaging. This method is, you know, it's one of the ways to do it. There's so many different approaches, but this is actually one of my favorite ways because it's all, you're always ensured that there's gonna be a great blend. Uh, balayaging, you know, is, is beautiful, but this is also a different technique that you can do because you get to isolate and not everybody has the same hair type. So this is one of the many artistic ways to do it. I do both techniques. I still balayage, but yeah, I still use foils and sometimes I use both. So always keep an open mind to that. And I am doing a diagonal back away from the face. Uh, reason being is because I get to hug all of her face framing pieces. And again, back to back, so doing little micro weaves, just like that. So these are very micronized, as you can see how thin they are, you can see right through it. And that's the important key here, is so when you do the highlights, they're, they don't look like stripes. They never look like stripes when they're baby lights. If you create such strong stitching when you weave the hair, then you can see where the highlights come out from the scalp. And that's why I strongly encourage that when creating these natural blonde highlights, you do these micronized highlights hugging around the face. And as we get up closer. And the one thing I love about the Scruples Illusionist is because it never over lifts. It lifts it usually to that perfect level, nine or 10 and that's it. And with bleach, a lot of times it over lifts to 11 or 12. And then you're trying to tone it back down because you lose all that brightness. It becomes white and sometimes it becomes kind of gummy. So with the, um, the Illusionist, you get to lift through artificial color, you get to tone the hair simultaneously because the toner is built into it, um, and yet you still have like, the confidence that you're not going to overlift even though you, you can start here and end here and it'll all process the same color versus with some bleaches, it over accelerate on one side. And yes, it's harder because you have to pre-formulate and everything, but it's so worth it in the end. Just like this again. Gonna feather it through. 
this side is a little bit darker, so I'm going to slant it down. And I turn the brush into a vertical stroke. And just like that, the vertical stroke strokes help me transition her natural into the pre-existing light pieces. So if I see a, a, too much of a gold, I just want to brush that away with the, um, with the feather strokes. All right, so we're going to hug this in nice and tight, making sure that we don't overlap into the product. Okay. And when I fold it, again, I don't crease it. You still want to leave this bubble because that bubble lets you have oxygen and you also don't want um, a crease in the color. So you just fold it over gently. And I'm doing four back to back because I really want this face frame to be nice and bright. And I'm going to do this technique all around her face. All right, so what I did on Paige's hair, as you can see, is I did a couple foils and I skip about half an inch space in between each foil and I did micro weaves, so they're baby lights. We did some baby lights, so you can see here, but in the face I did back to back foils around the face. And then up on top, I space them apart so that way you can still see some low lights in between. But I'm going to drag some of these low lights from here down so we create more of a blur. So it creates more of an ombre feel. And I'm going to continue this baby lights effect throughout her crown. I'm going to turn around here. I'm going to continue this baby light effect. And we are going at a, an angle. So that way you don't see a striping pattern. So from here, I can start the angling right about here. I'm going to open up the foil and you can see, look how blonde she is already. See, and it's only been 15 minutes. So you can see how blonde she's already getting down there. So we're in a good, we're, we're you know, we're seeing good results here already. So now I'm going to start here and I'm going to angle it from here and crisscross over. And we still see some highlights down here. I just reweave and pick them out. And this is one technique you can use with foils that you can't use when you freehand paint. So now I can see where all her dark low lights are. I can lift them right back out. I think right now with the balayage trend, um, we forget uh, how to do these highlights and low lights again sometimes because it's been a while for some of some of us. And maybe um, if you guys are still in beauty school, this is to me this is the foundation and the fundamentals. So it's very important to learn this technique still and I'm gonna pull it and tuck it in it doesn't need to be all the way to the scalp because we still want to create a rooty look just like so and then fold it up and fold over again and I'm going to continue this pattern all the way through here. So it should be about seven foils and then we're so done. Now I'm low lighting with Hypnotic. And the one thing I like about Hypnotic is that it's a filler infused color. So you can low light the hair. I'm mixing it with 10 volume. You can either choose to use a dim light or a 10 volume. If you choose to use a dim light developer, you're going to get darker results. You get more deposit, which is great if you want more pigment. I chose to do 10 volume because I wanted to slightly lift her natural a little bit, bump up the base. And the formula is 9NA. And I'm just gonna feather it down just like that because there is some highlights in here and I wanna blur those highlights. So we're creating an ombre low light while up here we're creating a highlight. Look how fast she turns blonde just from the 9AV. Look how fast that blonde is. It's only been five minutes since I finished the back in the, in the top here and she's already blonde really fast. Um, and it's not even bleach and that's the best part. So what I do is I go in between and just blur it down. Um, I don't need to actually bring it all the way down to the ends. So sometimes if I want to create more of a blur, I actually just use the back of the, of the comb and just blur it down just like that. So you don't get too much pack on color and it'll look like a blunt line. So I feather at an angle and then I just fold it up just like that. So in between all the foils that we did the highlight on, I should actually choose to do a different color foil so you guys can see this better. But I think you guys can kind of get the, the gist of it. Okay, so see, again, here are the blonde foils. As you can see, they're processing. Okay, right underneath, I do a thin slice right across that. Pull out. Look how thin this piece is. It's pretty thin. So then, this will be the low light. So. Basically, highlight, highlight, finish the highlight first, and then go back and do the low light. Because you want the lift 
sit on fast and so you could go back in and do the low light instead of doing highlight low light highlight low light then the blonde would sit in some of the areas too long so this is a great way to approach it just like that and it angled down so not it doesn't look too straight just like so just feathering it and just leaving the ends out because you do want the ends to look light if you pull the low light all the way down it'll look too harsh we still want to leave that ombre feel so it looks modern because the ends are already light what i can do with the remaining highlighting product is actually just balayage the outside just so it'll brighten it up a little bit okay so i'm just going to do this and finish throughout her whole head oh actually let me turn her around so you can see how fast her ombre blonde is already look check this out guys I mean, this, this is not bleach, guys. This is the, the illusionist scruples. Look how blonde that is already. I mean, that's pretty blonde. <laughs> and we're not even done processing yet. So you can imagine when it's done, she's going to be a lot icier, and I'm so excited about it. Mm -hmm. So you guys saw the, you guys basically get the idea. Oh, actually, this is a great example. Take a look at the highlights here. You can see, like, the, the stitching points from her old highlights. So, do you see that? So by me going back in and doing a thin slice right across that and you're getting an automatic baby, baby low lights effect, right? So pulling this back down, see where those hi highlights are? We're gonna completely, we're gonna completely erase them. So check this out. This is a great example because you can actually see the demarcation points. Again, folding it out tucking it just like that see all those little highlights it's hard to see against the foil but you kind of get the point okay here we go so remember this is 10 volume so you go in at an angle it's going to slightly shift her natural which is up here so it'll give it a slightly warmer tone but that's fine uh, because i do want to create almost like a base break up in these little low lights and then bring them down heavier and then go at an angle just to blur it and that's what it's going to create like an ombre low light effect and go at an angle just like that move that aside and see all those highlights are now erased but the ends are still light so you're still keeping the ombre effect without the demarcation line folding it up and this is what i like about this you could go back up if you need to tuck it you could fasten it see that i could fasten all of these by having the foils on the outside I'm going to do this around the whole head. Alright guys, so I'm going to start opening the foils inside so you can see how light that got. As you can see, that is like really, really light. So as always, I balayage the outside over pre-light hair, but I want you to see the difference. Even though I balayage open air, it will never lift. And this is, um, it will never lift as strong as foils. This is why I always go back to foils. A lot of times we try to balayage, we try to lay foils on it, we try to put saran wrap a mesh or some sort, foils will always win because there's that incubation. The incubation is the key. Is it, it's the key to getting the perfect blonde. So I always use uh, foils when I really want to push the hair. So again, I'm just going to, oh, it's okay. Sorry, I didn't even pull you. I just want to open this up. I'm going to wipe this piece so you guys can kind of see what is going on here. So that's like the perfect blonde to me. I mean, that's like what I call perfect, and it's wet. So you can imagine when this dries, this is gonna look like a beautiful, bright, bright blonde. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, and it still feels really strong. A lot of times what I do is I pull, and I feel a lot of like elasticity, tensile strength, and that means the hair is healthy. So I, I think this is the reason why I like using the illusionist or the blazing. I need, in fact, I need to do a video on blazing. Okay guys, I'm gonna do another video on Scruples Blazing. They have this other line that's called Blazing. So it's kind of similar to this, but it's a little bit different. It's, um, it's, it's, it's more of a liquid, liquidy gloss product versus a jelly type product versus a, uh, a cream. And it works similar because it'll lift and deposit. So I'll do this. Okay, still feel really strong even on the ends. A lot of times when we use bleach, I would like to say, that sometimes it overlift. This lifts to a perfect you level. You guys message me on Facebook and ask me questions like, does color lift color? And no, color does not lift color. Like if you have a, 
a 4N per se, and you want to be a 6N all of a sudden, you're going to get a demarcation line. So if you put like a 6N up here, and you try to overlap and lift that old 4N up, that's not going to happen. You're going to get what we call hot roots. So what I like about the Scruples uh, Illusionist is a highlighting system that is not considered a bleach, but you get multi-tones. You get to choose the red, you get to choose the chestnut tones, the blonder tones, and you're able to skip a whole process without toning. Um, now if you have an even color, like you have like a level 4 here and 6 here, I would suggest balancing out the color, the, the base and the foundation first before you highlight it. I don't suggest using um, scruples as an all over color. It's designed to be highlighted into the hair. So it just helps us um, add something into our arsenal. So I hope that answers your question. Um, are you excited about Gong Guan? Yes, so excited. She's so excited. It's like Christmas Day. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you know, we were talking earlier about like the struggles and the right. stereotypes yes. that we deal with yes. with being blonde. Yeah. Now, how do you feel? I mean, like we ask our, fr our friends, our besties, the our hair besties. Yeah, on Periscope. All the hair besties in the land yeah. said, you know, blonde stereotype is what? You name a few. Like, um, you know, dumb blonde or... Easy. Easy. They think you're or, easy to get. Or ditzy or... Um, you know, not so not take them seriously, right, right. but you don't want to marry them. You just want to play with them. And yeah, like they're just, they're just uh, for a fun time and not someone you'd settle down with. Or... However, there is a lot of good ones too yes. like blonde turned heads first right. more people pay attention to blondes and mm -hmm. i feel like it's very coveted like everybody's trying to be blonde because right. it's the number one selling point in the salon from my perspective right. but you 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 feel that you also think brunettes are very beautiful they are very beautiful <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i know i would personally i would love to be brunette it just doesn't work with my skin tone and stuff you're designed to be a blonde I'm a, yeah blonde. i'm such a beach girl i just yeah. you know it just and i was born blonde so we're just kind of up, you know, making it a little bit brighter back yeah. to how I was when I was younger. Well, you're a natural so, blonde. Yeah, I'm a natural you blonde. You guys saw it. She's a natural level 7, 8 right. around there, so that's considered blonde. So right. why not use the highlights to contour what she already has? If, right. if we went darker, it would be too harsh it, on your skin. Exactly, exactly. So, but I just want you to know, mm -hmm. you're not dumb because <laughs> you're blonde. You're not easy. Yeah. I know Paige, you guys. Yeah. Paige is actually very smart. She's very business oriented. And yeah. she's smart. She probably knows, uh, she's better at math than I am. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, no, listen guys. People stereotype me thinking I know math because right. of a certain ethnic feature that I have. <laughs> but I'm bad at math. And this blonde is smarter than me when it comes to math. Okay, yeah. so we're breaking stereotypes <laughs> today. Not that, yes, we are. not that not knowing math is a good thing, but I'm just using an example right. for say. <laughs> right. So we're gonna rinse you out. Oh, actually, we should turn it around. You know, I, I pulled out this piece here. Check this out, guys. Look how blonde that is from the foils. If I open this up, look how blonde that is. I mean, this is not bleach. It is not bleach, you guys. And it lifts the hair to this light. So I'm really excited about it. It's a hybrid product. I like to describe um, Scruples as a pioneer in the hybrid technology of lifting and toning. Now there's a lot of products out there now that does something similar and that's fine, that's great. But what I like is that there's variations. There's like the uh, lift and tone, there's blazing, there's illusionist, and there's also hypnotic and shadow light. So you could tone the hair. Well, I don't want to say that. I like to say you deposit low lights without filling the hair. So there's options. So that's one thing I like about um, I also think it's important to carry variations of products because you never know what you're going to face. I mean, look at this. I mean, when she came out, I was like, you know what? Let's not bleach your hair. Let's do something simple, you know? So let's get rinsing. You ready? Let's do it. Let's All do right, it. hair besties. Here's the final result of Paige's Yay. Blonde obsessed. baby life. I'm obsessed with your hair too. Oh my God. And you mentioned it looks longer, right? So much longer. It's crazy. I love it. Well, well that's the thing. Yeah. The thing about light, it draws attention, so right. it makes your hair look longer. Well, while yeah. you guys remember in the beginning, she kind of had like that disconnect where it's dark underneath, but now it's like in the it's light, and you exactly. can see it. Much more brighter. Summer's here too, so it works. Yeah, <laughs> I think you're pretty hot. I don't know about you. Do you like it? How do you feel? I love it. You're an amazing guy. Oh. I trust him. Awesome. You know what? The blonde highlights around the face. Mm -hmm. Tilt her head down. You can see all the baby lights on top. You can look at her ends. The ones that we ombre, it makes it brighter. What I love is mm -hmm. that, you know, it's not a bleach. Right. It, it lifts 
and the tones all in one step. What more can you ask for? It's pretty quick. The only thing we did was tone the base there about like right. three inches out and I applied the, I actually tried the new Power Blondes by Scruples and because it's new it just came out and if you guys follow me on Periscope mm -hmm. since you're my hair besties then you will see because we do a lot of interactive things on Periscope so make sure you follow me on Periscope just to see so if you guys missed out then you guys don't know what I did here because yeah all we all we just toned the, the top part for about five to ten minutes. We did the cream, the caramel, the ice, and the platinum. I just mixed them all together to see what happens with ten volume, and boom, this is what you got. It's pretty damn hot. <laughs> so I'm gonna have, to have you turn around so, you, so we can see how long your hair is. Love it. What I like is when, you, when she turns around, you can see how long it made her hair look just because it's blonder, these icy tips. I'm excited. I don't know about y'all, but that's pretty damn hot. Yay. So click thumbs up. Share with your friends, follow me on Periscope, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, Vine, what else is there? My Snapchat? Yep. Am I missing anything? I don't know, there's so many nowadays, it's and so hard. You know what, I'm going to provide the link so you guys can stalk her, she's so hot. Uh, Neil, tell us the thing that you're on, you're on TV. Oh you're yeah, I work on uh, Monopoly Millionaires Club, it's a new game show, it's on KTLA every Sunday at 7pm, tune in, Billy Gardell is the host. And, and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So Yay! Out. Love you guys. Wait, wait, wait. They can't leave. You have to do our song. Oh. <laughs> <laughs>